Hey guys, Ken Muldoon here. What I'd like to do in this video is talk about this type cover. This is for the Surface Pro 4. I explained it a little bit in my last video on the first impressions video, but I wanted to just take a closer look at it and just talk a little bit more about the keyboard and just really show you more about it, talk more about it. Now, this is an optional accessory for the Surface Pro 4. And you can see that it folds in like this. You can take it off pushing all the buttons here. Now you can take it off the Surface Pro 4 like that. And um, as I say, this is a, an optional accessory, but it really is essential, really, in my opinion. It really should be bundled with it. Unfortunately, it doesn't. And it retails in the UK, it retails for about £100 or £99. I picked this one up for £70 in Amazon. For some reason, the red version was a little bit cheaper. It's got a really nice material. It's um, quite light, very light in fact. Um, I didn't know the weight when I was talking the, the first impressions video. So this is about 786 grams. This keyboard is 282 grams, so it's about 0.3 of a kilo. So that's about 0.8 of a kilo. And when you add this, it's 0.3 roughly. So you're, you're talking it, so it adds it to about 1250. And you can see there how good the magnets work. You know, you, you plug it in and it just connects like that. It's flat like that, but then it works like that. You know, it kind of raises it, up, raises it up automatically. And it, that's, it's beautiful. It really works really well. So I'll just quickly give you some stats of this from the official website. Um, one of the first things to note about this is that this works. This does work with the Surface Pro 3. So apparently there was a lot of problems. Well, not problems, but it was the Surface Pro one, two, and three keyboards, you know, the keyboard is progressively be getting better and better. So if you're a Surface Pro 3 user, you can use this improved stylus and this improved keyboard with the Surface Pro 4 cover. So you can use this and that with the older Surface Pro. So that's really good because you can pick up the Surface Pro 3 really, really cheaply now, and it's still a fantastic tablet so that was something I was actually thinking about I was thinking about going for the Surface Pro 3 instead and just buying the Pro cover now as I say it just goes on magnetically and once it does folds up you still attach your stylus there and um, I love the thinness in this as I said in my other video I'll maybe try and get a case for this but in the meantime well, I'll do, uh, just set this up just now to talk a bit more about this. It's looking for me. Right, so this is available and it says it's five colors there, but there's actually another one available now. You can get it in black, blue, it's like a dark blue. You can get a really bright blue. You can get it in this red and you get it in teal, which is, you know, kind of turquoise green. They've announced a gray version that's out now, which is much more expensive. It's 11.6 inches by 8.5 and it's 0 0.19 thick. And that's 285 millimeters by 260 millimeters by 4.65. Now, the box it came with, very simple. It, it just came in here. There's not really anything to it. You know, it's just the keyboard's there and there's a little manual when using it. So there's not, not, not really a lot to it. You simply just take that out and take the keyboard out and that's it. Now as far as using the keyboard, I've been really pleased with it so far. And this was a keyboard that I was using a lot on my previous laptop. Works really well, but you know, it's not the best in the world, but it does work really well. But I do think these kind of you know types of keys are better. And it's more similar to what you would get with Apple. And um, you can see here, you know, it's almost identical in size, just a little bit bigger actually. You can see there's a lot of um, similarities there when you look at both of them side by side. So this is the official Apple wireless keyboard. It's very, very similar. Now the good thing about this is you don't actually need to put any batteries on it. It, it takes the power from the device. One thing I will notice though, this should have been, in my opinion, this should have been 
a Bluetooth device. And the reason I'm saying that is I saw there was another hybrid, another convertible. I can't remember if it was one of the Lenovo Yogas, but the way that that one was set up was that when you peeled the keyboard away, you could sit, you know, the screen away in the distance and then you could keep typing here. Unfortunately, that doesn't work like this. This isn't Bluetooth. You need to be connected for this to work. So I think in the future, that's maybe what they'll do. They may make this Bluetooth so that you could set this somewhere up high and then you could sit with this keyboard. So that is something to know. You need this to be connected like this. You can't sit it away from the laptop. You can see that light for the caps lock will go on there. Now, another thing to note is, if we'll zoom in a little bit here, this is a backlit keyboard. So you can see the lights come on here. I hope you can see that. And you can put them down. Now, it's, it's, it's daylight and it's a very, very sunny day in Scotland. So even though I've got my blinds completely closed, it's actually quite hard to stop a lot of the light coming through. But you should be able to see that that is backlit. And again, the power is all coming from the laptop, from the, the surface itself. Now, as as far as using this, you know, it, it, it I was concerned that it was going to be a problem with using this because it's really, really light. Um, but it's actually been okay. I just have to kind of, you just have to bear in mind. So when you've got a laptop like this, it's just a generic laptop, you normally hold it like this. I mean, this one's probably strong enough that I could hold it in the, the screen, but I wouldn't do that. You hold it like this. So you hold it in the keyboard, you hold it in the base. This is where all the moving parts are. This is where all the, the mass is, all the, the weight is in here. So when you sit this in your lap, this is where all the weight is. It's all in the keyboard. Now, when you use the Surface 4 Pro with the type cover, the weight isn't here. You can't hold it like that. That's not going to take the weight. You know, it'll come off. So you need to hold it with, hold it by the surface. Now that's, it might sound obvious to do that, but it is something to bear in mind. Now, I, I use this on a desk here, as you can see, but I also use it sitting on the couch with the keyboard typing. And you know, I have it sitting on my lap and it works perfectly. It really does work really well. The only thing you really need to do is, you know, if you've not got the right angle, change the position of the stand because you know, I was sitting I was sitting like this sometimes then when I moved the way I was sitting I had to kind of put it a little bit further back so the stand works perfectly for that. You do have to bear in mind though when you're kind of moving this device always pick it up using the surface. Pick it up using the surface. Don't ever pick it up using this keyboard. There's no weight in it. It's not strong enough and I mean it's only 300 grams. It's not heavy. So that is something to bear in mind. Now as far as using it on your lap you know, obviously it doesn't feel as secure as having something, you know, that's heavy on your lap. But I've I've not found any problems with it. It works great in my opinion. And I've been really pleased with it. Um, again, I've only been using it a day or so, so, you know, it's early days. But I used it all last night on the couch. I was sitting with it, the, the surface on the couch, and I was using it, using this keyboard, and I was really happy with it. Now, it says that these got mechanical keys, full QWERTY, Keyboard, it's got F1, F12, it's got a Windows button, it's got another button here that kind of looks, it's not right click, but it seems to be like an options button. Um, it says, well, it does say it has a right click button, it might be that. Um, it's got the magnetic interface and it's got an accelerator, accelerometer, I can't even talk. Um, that sensor that, you know, it, it can adjust where it, if it's been turned around and it comes with a one year warranty. So it is an expensive accessory. You can get third-party accessories, third-party keyboards, but I wouldn't go near them. This is the official one. It was designed specifically for the Surface, and it works great. So don't go near any third-party keyboards. It's, you know, you'll, you'll kick yourself. In the long run, this is what you need. And pay the extra money and just consider, make sure you include this in your pricing when you're looking at the Surface. If you're buying the Surface, you need this keyboard. That's the way I look at it. Um, Usage though, I think it looks great. It works really well and you know it, it's going to protect your screen. Now it's obviously not the thickest thing in the world. You know if you took a heavy hit there, it's I don't know how much protection you're going to get. But it's the back that I've been looking at more of, you know, as far as protecting. It's the back covers I've been looking at. But you can get folio cases that wrap around as well. It's going to add more thickness to it. But 
you know, if that's what you need to do to protect your device, that's maybe what you need to do. Using it though as a keyboard, typing on it, working on it, I'm very, very pleased. It's um, really good and, and there's there's a lot of settings you can, you can set up things on Windows 10 so that when you connect your mouse, the trackpad is disabled, you know. So there's, it's, all the settings are there, all the options are there on Windows 10. So again, I've only been using this for a day or so, but my first impressions are that this is a fantastic keyboard. The only hesitation that I've got is long term. When I'm talking about long term, I'm talking two years, three years, four years. I'm not sure how long this is going to hold up. You know, this, there's not a huge amount of flex, but it's not as solid as the plastic casing you would get on a laptop keyboard, you know, like a built-in keyboard on the laptop. So I suspect it's going to hold up well, but I do think that the edges you're maybe going to see them going black, you're maybe going to see them kind of pull in, you can see there. You're maybe going to see them fray a little bit over time and it might not look as good. I mean, that's what's going to happen with, with things like this. If you've ever owned a Kindle and had a Kindle cover, the material feels like that, you know. It's, um, I'm not sure what they say on the website, what, what, the, what the material is. Made from premium materials. It's very vague. <laughs> it's very vague. Made from premium materials. They don't even explain what it is. But the, the key things to know are the, that it's magnetic, that it's backlit, that it's a full keyboard, and the keys are very, very easy to use. The other thing to know is this uh, touchpad. And I touched upon this a little bit in my last video, but this feels amazing. And I noted last time that when I was using my ThinkPad, I never used this trackpad. I never used it. I always used this, the little um, famous IBM Lenovo thumb pad thing, the little stick, um, I always use that, but this is really, really good. It's very wide, but it's made of glass as well, so there's, it, it's got lots of different gestures, which I don't know yet, you know, there's lots, of, I'm not used to using a trackpad. Whenever I'm using this in laptop mode, I'll always grab a mouse, it's just what I'm used to. But if you're someone who prefers the trackpad, you will be very pleased with this. There's lots of different gestures you can do. I think there's like five different points, five point gestures or something. Um, I'm not the one to ask about that if I'm honest I've not messed around with it too much but it does feel great it's glass and it you know your finger just glides and it's really sensitive and it works perfectly so it does everything that it should on a side note by the way if you can hear the fans it's because I'm processing a video here in the background and you know it, it needs to use a CPU so the fans are kicked in because of that normally it's much quieter but um, yeah, so this has just been a closer look at the type cover for the Surface Pro 4. Again, this will work for with the Surface Pro 3 as well as the stylus. And yeah, if, you, if you're thinking about getting a Surface Pro 4 or if you've got a Surface Pro 3 and you're thinking about getting this keyboard, I hope this uh, has been useful for you. I hope you've found it useful. And I've been really happy with it so far. You can see there, I'm just trying to move it around for you. So it's got all rotate on and I want to try and look after it, but it does seem like it can take a lot of uh, wear and tear as far as, you know, clipping it on. And I love this, the way it just clips on like that and then it's perfectly. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this closer look at the Surface Pro 4 type cover. If you've got any questions, please do leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. I don't profess to be an expert on this, but I will do my best to uh, point you in the right direction if I don't know the answer to something. Please do subscribe to my channel too if you've enjoyed the video and until next time, thanks for watching.